Has the enemy ever come and tried to steal your joy after you got your miracle breakthrough? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Thank you for joining A Restoring Word. This is a short little uh, motivational devotional to help you walk in grace and peace with Jesus. My name is Leanne Friesman, and I'm starting out of 1 John 4. And I love this scripture because it says, Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see if they are from God. Because many false prophets are going to go out into the world. And this is how you can recognize the, the spirit. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge that Jesus is not from God, this is the spirit of Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. You, dear children, are from God and you have overcome them because the one that is in you is greater than than the one who is in the world. So many times we are walking on this faith journey with Jesus and something will come at us and immediately it produces fear. Okay, stop right there. If something is producing fear in you, do you really want to listen to it? Now, some fears are healthy because they help preserve you. But some things or some comments or observations that people will throw at you is really just something that's there to steal your joy in, in the breakthrough, the joy in the victory that you have in walking it out with Jesus. You know, we are all on a journey and everybody's journey is difficult and different and comparing what one person is going through isn't fair to compare that to another person. The first part of our journey is the learning phase. We're learning about God. We're learning about the kingdom. We're learning who we are in Christ. And then we begin to renew our mind. And then as we do that, we go into the growing phase where we're growing in love for him and we're growing in love for his word and we're growing in sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. And then we get to cross over into the third phase, which is really the becoming phase. We become more like him. We become more like Christ. We become more peaceful. We become more loving. We become more patient for we are going from glory to glory and that glory that never that never ends we are always in that journey we're always in that process and you don't want to you know not treasure that process because it's important but Every once in a while, you'll have someone that will come along and you're on your journey and you've just gotten a miracle and it's been a breakthrough and somebody comes along to, you know, speak fear over it. I'll give you an illustration. So this last year, my daughter had twins, boys, and I cannot tell you how long we prayed and we believed God for this miracle and we were so excited and and then, oh my gosh, we found out it was twins. And, and, and it was like our cup runs over. God, you're so good. There isn't just one baby, there's two. And then on top of that, we found out it was boys and that was even better. And it just got better and better and happier and happier. And then someone would say some crazy comment to my daughter like, oh, are you ready for that? Or, oh, do you think you can handle that? And, you know, in the middle of that, here, here we are, here she is in the middle of her miracle and someone comes along and they're just going to throw cold water on it. It produced fear. And you know what? Fear is not from God. If God calls you to do something, if he supernaturally blesses you with a miracle blessing, don't let anybody steal your joy. 
Don't let anybody rob you from the joy of the journey. Let me tell you, there is going to be grace for these twins. There's going to be grace and provision and wisdom and everything about this journey is going to be joyful because we know that these little miracles are our blessing. They are our reward. That's biblical. I can't tell you where exactly it is, but our children are our reward. Careful that you test the spirit because right now in the world we have a lot of fear and and you and a lot of negativity that's coming from every direction you know it's just not of god trust him trust that you'll have wisdom in whatever he's calling you to do what is the lord asking you to do at this season in your life does it feel bigger than you does it feel overwhelming to you? Does it feel like I don't know if I'll have the, the provision or the strength or, or the wisdom to walk through this? Well, there's one thing about having walked with the Lord a little bit that you learn from and that I have often found that when I'm exhausted or when I'm in, broken and I don't know what to do or or I, I, I'm exhausted in, in my job and I all of a sudden have to have supernatural strength. It's in those moments where I've been able to humble myself. I've been able to call out to God. I've been able to say, God, your grace is sufficient for me and I can do all things through Christ that gives me strength and I'm going to depend on you. And then when I do that, then what happens is I've invited him into whatever stressful, overwhelming thing I'm walking through. And I know that I'm going to get through this because he's in me. And because of who's in me, it's greater than who's in the world. And I can walk victoriously. I can walk successfully through whatever he is bringing my way. Man, if you've got a promotion, enjoy it. If you have a new spouse and a new season, enjoy it. If you're walking into a, a, a financial blessing that is just beyond what you could have ever imagined or thought, enjoy it. If you're walking through a trial that maybe you just don't understand how God's going to use it, enjoy it because it's in the process that you become more like him. It's in the process that you are growing and you are becoming and you're learning about his goodness and his provision because he is a good God and his plans for you are for good. Thank you for listening. Please like the channel and subscribe and share this with someone that you feel might need to be encouraged today. Don't let the enemy rob your joy. Have a good day.